say is the storm was significant, but thankfully this was not the worst case scenario. This Officials in Florida assessing the damage after Hurricane Milton made landfall last night. It hit the state as a Category 3 storm, bringing powerful winds, several feet of surge and flooding to parts of the state. Crews have been out rescuing people this morning, many trapped by that flooding. And as we mentioned earlier, at least four people were killed in St. Lucie County by tornadoes that struck before Milton made landfall. Here's ABC's Jacqueline Lee with the latest from Tampa. People across the state of Florida surveying the damage after a ferocious Hurricane Milton made landfall along the West Coast. The house vibrated when the gusts really picked up. The storm coming ashore in Siesta Key near Sarasota late Thursday as a Category 3 hurricane, packing powerful winds up to 120 miles per hour and several feet of storm surge, uprooting trees and downing power lines. Three million customers now without power. In St. Petersburg, a large construction crane collapsing onto a street, damaging another building. Luckily, it had been evacuated, and there are no reports of injuries. Powerful winds causing the roof of Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays, to partially rip off. This is bad. I've never seen, for all 37 years being in Tampa, I've never seen like this something. Rescue crews out all morning in boats helping people escape their flooded homes and neighborhoods. At least 38 tornadoes reported before the storm made landfall. You can see just the devastation around me. All of this, once the contents of a home, everything that was inside is now just in this field. We can see the dishwasher. We can see a microwave, chairs, clothes. And at this home in Wellington, the front door now blocked by a car lifted and dropped there by the wind. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says the situation could have been worse. The storm surge, as initially reported, has not been as significant overall as what was observed for Hurricane Helene. Florida officials also say 135 officers have also been deployed along with thousands of National Guard members. Power crews are working around the clock to get everyone back online. Rena Roy, ABC News, Tampa, Florida.